This is the story of Formula 1's new teams that competed in the Formula 1 World Championship during the 2010s. Running on limited budgets, the three teams in question rarely got themselves off the back of the grid to tangle with the more established teams of the time, but nonetheless had their own exciting and challenging battles for the coveted 10th place in the Constructors' Championship. The rule changes for 2015 were relatively minor, mostly done in order to address concerns brought over the major rule changes of 2014. Each driver's number of allotted power units for the season was reduced from 5 to 4, the nose design of the cars was revised, the maximum height was reduced further, and the noses now had to taper in a symmetrical and linear fashion in order to remove the unsightly appendages informally known as the penis noses that were commonplace in 2014. The minimum weight of the cars was increased by 10 kilograms up to 702 kilograms to reduce the need for weight loss from taller drivers. The side panels around the cockpit were raised, and titanium skid blocks were added to the undersides of the cars, which saw the return of sparks being generated at high speeds. In light of Jules Bianchi's accident at Suzuka the previous year, the virtual safety car was introduced. It bridged the gap between yellow flags and the safety car by forcing all drivers to slow down and drivers at equal speed without overtaking until the hazard was cleared, at which point they would resume racing. Marussia and Caterham had both gone into administration at the end of 2014. Caterham eventually folded, and it looked like Marussia would do so as well. The administrators began auctioning assets in December, but the team was still intending to race and received permission from the FIA to run their 2014 car, the MR03, in 2015, provided it was modified to meet the 2015 regulations. The administrator's FRP advisory LLP initiated a company voluntary arrangement. The creditors agreed to it, and on February 19th the team came out of administration with John Booth and Graham Loudon resuming their roles as team principal and CEO respectively. The team's official name was Manama Russia F1 team, and they changed their racing license from Russian to British. The team had been bought by OVO Energy founder Stephen Fitzpatrick, who appointed former saint to be CEO Justin King as chairman. Three pre-season testing sessions were planned throughout February. Marussia missed all three of them, as they were still generating the necessary funds to race and also had no drivers. On February 25th, they confirmed their former reserve driver Will Stevens as their first driver. On March 5th, their 2015 car, the MR03B, passed all the mandatory crash tests the day before the shipping deadline for the first race in Australia. The only noticeable visual change to the car from 2014 was a simple modesty panel added to the nose to conform to the new regulations. The car had another variation on the team's red, white and black colours, one that showed off the dearth of sponsors. The hashtag JB17 logo was carried on the car throughout the year. Four days later, they conferred Roberto Meri as their second driver on a one-race deal, and Justin King's son Jordan as their reserve driver. Marussia arrived in Melbourne for the first race of the season with an untested car and two inexperienced drivers. Mary finished third in the Formula Renault 3.5 series in 2014 and ran in FP1 three times for the now defunct Caterham team. He was set to race in Formula Renault 3.5 again in 2015 alongside his Formula 1 commitments. Stevens was a Caterham Academy driver and raced for them in their final race at Abu Dhabi. He had briefly been Marussia's second driver in 2014 but never drove the car. When the team was settled in, it came to light that their reacquired computers and hard drives had all been wiped when they were put up for auction, meaning all their data from 2014 was lost and leaving them unable to fire the cars up. They sat out FP1 and FP2 while trying to reinstall and update all the software systems. They tried to have everything ready in time for qualifying but ran out of time and sat this out. At this point, the FIA demanded an explanation for the missing qualifying. Under the circumstances, they were cleared of any wrongdoing but would have to pay the freight charges to and from Australia themselves rather than it normally be covered by Formula 1 management. However, by attending the race, they had received the $48 million in prize money owed to them for finishing 9th in the Constructors' Championship in 2014. Two weeks later, they travelled to Sepang for the Malaysian Grand Prix. The computers were fixed and both drivers went out on track in FP1. They both completed a modest 8 laps. Both drivers entered the session within the 107% time, however Stevens was 6.5 seconds off of Nico Rosberg's time, and Mary was another second slower. Both drivers improved in FP2, although Mary span and stalled his car after only 6 laps. Mary span again in FP3, and Stevens developed a fuel system problem which prevented him from taking part in qualifying. Mary did take part in qualifying, 
However, his fastest time was just under 5 seconds slower than the next car, 7.5 seconds slower than the fastest time, and 4 tenths of a second outside of the 107% time, leaving him in 19th. Despite this, both drivers were permitted to start the race as they had set times within the 107% time during practice. Stevens was prepared to race on Sunday, however the fuel system problems persisted and he sat out the event. Merry had a slightly slow getaway but started cleanly. Pastor Maldonado got a puncture on the first lap which moved Merry to 18th. Kimi Raikkonen received a puncture from Felipe Nasser at the end of lap 1 which moved Merry to 17th. Nasser pitted at the end of lap 2 for a new front wing which gave Merry 16th, although by now he was already more than 5 seconds off of the rest of the field. Marcus Ericsson then span off and out of the race at turn 1 on lap 4, moving Merry to 15th. The safety car was then brought out. Merry pitted along with most of the rest of the field. The race resumed at the end of lap 6 with Merry in 14th, although he hadn't yet caught up to the field and was 5 seconds behind the next car. Merry was immediately passed by Jensen Button at turn 15 before even crossing the start finish line. Raikkonen passed Merry at turn 1 on lap 8. Nasser then passed Merry at turn 15. Maldonado passed Merry at turn 14 on lap 11, leaving Merry in last. By now, Merry was lapping 5 seconds a lap slower than the leaders and 2 seconds a lap slower than the next car. Fernando Alonso retired on lap 21, which moved Merry up to 17th. Merry made his second stop on lap 22 and came out lapped. He was lapped for a second time on lap 39, and soon after had been lapped by the entire field. Jensen Button retired on lap 41, which gave Merry 16th. He made his third stop on lap 42. Maldonado retired on lap 46, which gave Mary 15th. He was lapped for a third time on lap 47, but still saw the chequered flag. Next up was the Chinese Grand Prix. Both drivers were more than 3 seconds off of the next car in FP1. Mary brought this down to 2 seconds in FP2, but Stevens managed only 8 laps due to electronics issues, as well as there being disruptions caused by a spectator running across the track. This margin went back up to 3 seconds in FP3, with Mary 2 seconds slower than Stevens. The two were unsurprisingly slowest in qualifying, with Stevens 2.8 seconds slower than Fernando Alonso in 18th, and Merry another 3 quarters of a second slower in 20th. Despite this margin, they were both still comfortably within the 107% time. At their third attempt in 2015, Marussia finally got both cars to start the race, both on soft tyres. Merry had the better start and passed Stevens off the line. Carlos Sainz span at turn 1 on lap 2 and resumed behind Stevens. Sainz passed Stevens at turn 14 on lap 3 and Merry at the same place on lap 4. Merry initially built a 2 second lead over Stevens, but Stevens closed in and took 19th back at turn 14 on lap 9. Nico Hülkenberg then retired on lap 10 which moved them both up a place. After only 5 laps they had fallen to 12 seconds behind Sainz. Daniel Kvyat then retired on lap 16 which moved them up to 17th and 18th. Stevens first pitted on lap 16 for mediums and then Merry on lap 17. They were now 8 seconds apart and 35 seconds behind the next car. Merry first got lapped on lap 18 and then Stevens on lap 20. Stevens maintained a 9 second advantage over Merry as they negotiated the blue flags during the middle stint. Stevens did his final stop for soft tyres on lap 38 and came out lap for a second time. Merry was lapped for a second time on lap 40 and then made his stop. He was lapped by 16th place Sainz on lap 41. Stevens was then lapped by Sainz on lap 48. Pastor Maldonado retired on lap 50 which moved them up to 16th and 17th. Max Verstappen pulled over on the start-finish straight on lap 53 which moved Stevens and Mary up to 15th and 16th and brought out the safety car. They had been 15 seconds apart at this point but finished in formation behind the safety car. Afterwards, Mary was given a needless 5 second time penalty for driving too fast under the safety car. Marussia enjoyed an uninterrupted practice programme at the Bahrain Grand Prix for the first time that year. Jensen Button failed to set a time in qualifying which allowed them to start 18th and 19th. Stevens was 2.9 seconds off of Danny Kvyat in 17th, while Merry was another second slower. They were still within the 107% time, despite the fact that Stevens' lap was 1.4 seconds slower than Jules Bianchi's from 2014, and Lewis Hamilton had improved on his pole time from 2014 by half a second. Jensen Button ended up not starting the race as well. Felipe Massa stalled at the start of the formation lap and so started from the pit lane. At the end of the formation lap, Pastor Maldonado, who had qualified 16th, lined up in Stevens' grid slot by accident which forced Stevens to start behind Merry in the vacant 20th place slot. Merry maintained position off the line. Stevens attempted a pass at turn 4 while Merry almost passed Kvyat. Massa closed up quickly after his pit lane start and took 17th and 18th from Merry and Stevens at turn 11. 
The two were side by side crossing the start finish line onto lap two, but Merry defended his position at turn one. Stevens eventually passed Merry at turn one on lap six and started building out an advantage. Stevens and Merry ran the longest first stints in the race. Merry pitted on lap 18 while 12 seconds behind Stevens and came out lapped. Stevens pitted on lap 19 and also came out lapped. Carlos Sainz retired on lap 30 which moved them up to 17th and 18th. Stevens did his second stop on lap 33 while 26 seconds ahead of Merry. Max Verstappen retired on lap 34 which moved the drivers up to 16th and 17th. Merry pitted on lap 34 and was lapped for a second time and had also been lapped by the entire field. Stevens was lapped by the entire field on lap 40. Merry was lapped for a third time on lap 51 and they finished the race far apart in 16th and 17th. Next up was Merry's home race, the Spanish Grand Prix. Stevens and Merry once again qualified on the back row. Stevens was 2.75 seconds slower than Sergio Perez in 18th and 1.6 seconds slower than Jules Bianchi's qualifying time from 2014. Merry struggled and only got one run in after being called up to the weigh bridge and was 8 tenths of a second slower and only 4 tenths of a second within the 107% time. Merry managed to pass Stevens around the outside of turn 1 at the start. Stevens eventually repassed Merry at turn 10 or lap 10, but by now they were 16 seconds behind Jensen Button in 18th. Stevens did his first pit stop on lap 16 and was first lap soon after rejoining the track. Merry pitted on lap 17 and came up 5 seconds behind Stevens. Fernando Alonso retired on lap 27 which moved them up to 18th and 19th. Merry did his second stop on lap 30 while 11 seconds behind Stevens and was lapped for a second time. Stevens did his second stop on lap 32 and was also lapped again. Merry was lapped by 17th place Jensen Button on lap 34 and then Stevens on lap 38. Paso Maldonado retired on lap 46 which moved them to 17th and 18th. Merry was lapped for a third time on lap 47 as Stevens on lap 48 just after his final pit stop. Merry did his final pit stop on lap 49. When he exited the pits, he was lapped for a second time by Button. He was then lapped for a fourth time on lap 58. Both drivers finished the race, but they had had their worst race pace since 2010. A two-day in-season test was held at Catalonia in the week after the race, but Marussia did not attend. It was now time for the Monaco Grand Prix, the scene of Marussia's strongest race yet in 2014. The Monaco round of the Formula Renault 3.5 series was being held the same weekend as the support race, so Merry sat it out in order to prioritise his F1 duties. Merry then crashed at the exit of the tunnel in FP2 which brought out the red flag. Rain then fell afterwards which limited running for the rest of the session. Stevens and Merry qualified on the back row once again. Stevens was 2.1 seconds off of Marcus Ericsson in 18th and 1.6 seconds slower than Jules Bianchi's time from 2014. Merry had closed up and was only 3 tenths of a second slower. Carlos Sainz ended up starting from the pit lane which moved them up to 18th and 19th. Stevens lightly clipped the rear of Marcus Ericsson at saint devaux which gave him minor front wing damage. Merry almost rear-ended Stevens at saint devaux and cut across the runoff area. Nico Hülkenberg and Felipe Massa collided on the run up the hill which broke Massa's front wing off and caused him to be passed by everyone before crawling round to the pits. Hülkenberg was then sent into the wall at Mirabeau Hort by Fernando Alonso and also lost his front wing and crawled round to the pits, which moved Stevens and Merry up to 16th and 17th. Sainz passed Merry at the Nouvelle Chicane on lap 1 and then passed Stevens at saint on lap 2. Pastor Maldonado retired on lap 6, which moved Stevens and Merry up to 16th and 17th. Hülkenberg caught and passed Merry at saint on lap 15 after Merry had cut the Nouvelle Chicane defending from him and then Stevens at the same place on lap 16. Both drivers were first lapped on lap 17. Merry maintained pace with a struggling Stevens and passed him for 17th on lap 24. Massa came out lapped after his pit stop on lap 1, but caught and passed Stevens on lap 27. Stevens' wing damage was causing him to lose time, and he was lapped for a second time on lap 29. Massa passed Merry on lap 31. Merry was then lapped for a second time as well on lap 32. Stevens did his sole pit stop on lap 33 and Merry on lap 35. Alonso retired on lap 42 which moved them up to 17th and 18th. Stevens was lapped for a third time on lap 43 and then Merry on lap 56. Max Verstappen hit Roman Grosjean on lap 63 and flew into the barriers at saint devaux which moved Merry and Stevens up to 16th and 17th and saw the first ever use of the virtual safety car. This quickly became a full safety car. Merry and Stevens were permitted to unlap themselves once. The race resumed at the end of lap 70. Merry had been almost a minute ahead of Stevens when the safety car was called, but they ended up finishing three and a half seconds apart. 
At the Canadian Grand Prix, Marussia announced 2013 GP2 Series champion Fabio Lima as their new test driver. They also brought on Renault and Mercedes veteran Bob Bell as their new technical consultant, Caterham veteran Gianluca Pisanello as chief engineer, and ex Toro Rosso chief engineer Luca Fabato as chief of design. The cars received a small visual upgrade with the addition of Airbnb as a new sponsor, Rain Limited running in FP2. The two drivers saw a vast improvement in pace in qualifying. Merry outqualified Stevens for the first time that year by less than three hundredths of a second. They were 1.25 seconds off of Felipe Massa in 18th, and 8 tenths of a second slower than Max Chilson's qualifying time in 2014. Jensen Button failed to set a time, and Sebastian Vettel and Max Verstappen received grid penalties, which meant they started 16th and 17th. Vettel passed both drivers off the line. Verstappen passed Stevens off the line and Merry at Turn 1, and Button passed Stevens at Turn 1. Button then passed Merry at Turn 8, but took a drive-through penalty at the end of the lap, which put him back behind both drivers. Stevens took 18th from Merry at turn 14 on lap 7. Button passed Merry at turn 14 on lap 8 and Stevens at the Le Pongle hairpin on lap 9. Merry and Stevens were both first lapped on lap 17. There was nothing in it between them during the first stint. Stevens pitted on lap 34 and then Merry on lap 35. Both drivers came out lapped for a second time and Merry jumped Stevens to take 19th back. Fernando Alonso retired on lap 45 which moved them up to 18th and 19th. Romain Grosjean lapped Stevens on the back straight on lap 47 but cut across him and gave himself a puncture and broke Stevens' front wing, so both of them immediately dived into the pits for repairs, catching their pit crews completely by surprise. Stevens was four seconds behind Merry at the time but came out of the pits a minute behind and lapped for a third time. Jensen Button retired on lap 55 which moved them up to 17th and 18th. Merry was lapped for a third time on lap 58. However, after this, he began to grind to a halt and pulled into the pits of a broken drive shaft, giving Marussia their first retirement of the season. Stevens was lapped for a fourth time on lap 58 and finished a disappointing race for the team in 17th. Next up was the Austrian Grand Prix. Rain came in FP3 and the track was still drying out when qualifying began. Merry adjusted best and qualified 19th, 1.2 seconds behind Kimi Raikkonen in 18th. Stevens was 1.3 seconds slower in 20th. Grid penalties for Daniel Ricciardo, Fernando Alonso and Jensen Button moved them up to 16th and 17th. Both drivers got around a very poor starting Marcus Ericsson. Merry almost passed Daniel Kvyat off the line as well. Stevens tried to cut up the inside of Merry at the Nicky Lauda curve, but pulled out of it which allowed Alonso to pass both of them and Button to pass Stevens. Ericsson repassed Merry at Ramos and Ricciardo passed Stevens there around the outside. Raikkonen and Alonso crashed on the run to Stossgold, which moved Merry to 15th and Stevens to 18th and brought out the safety car. Kvyat pitted at the end of lap 1 for a new front wing, which gave both drivers another place. Stevens pulled over at Schlossgold on lap 2 as a piece of debris for the Raikkonen-Alonso collision damaged one of his radiators, which left Merry to carry on alone. Ericsson then pitted on lap 2, which moved Merry to 13th. The race resumed at the end of lap 6. Ricardo immediately passed Merry at the Nicky Lauda curve. Kvyat then took 14th from Merry there on lap 8. Ericsson passed Merry at Ramos on lap 9. Merry was now last in 16th as Button retired on lap 8. Ericsson served a drive through penalty on lap 12 for a jump start and came out 9 seconds behind Merry. He eventually repassed Merry at Schlossgold on lap 20. However, Ericsson's car then stalled on the start finish straight and when he got going again he was now 22 seconds behind Merry. Merry first got lapped on lap 23. Ericsson eventually repassed Merry on the run up to Ramos on lap 34. Merry then did his sole pit stop. Carlos Sainz and Roman Grosjean retired on lap 36, which moved Merry up to 14th. Merry was lapped for a second time on lap 41 and a third time on lap 59. By finishing 14th, Merry gave Marussia their best results of the season so far. An in season test was held at the Red Bull Ring after the race, but once again, Marussia did not attend. For the team's and Stevens' home race, the British Grand Prix, the MR03B received a major facelift. The side pods were now painted blue and featured the logo of their newest sponsor, the shipping container manufacturer Flexbox. They also had new barge boards and a new floor. The team felt the upgrades paid off, despite Stevens still qualifying 19th, 2.1 seconds behind Jensen Button in 18th. Merry had his second lap time deleted after cutting the corner at turn 9 and was 2 seconds slower in 20th. Felipe Nasser broke down on the way to the grid and failed to start the race, which meant Stevens and Merry started 18th and 19th. 
Mary got the better start once again and passed Stevens at Abbey, however he ran wide and Stevens repassed him at farm. The Lotuses of Pastor Maldonado and Roman Grosjean collided at Serena, which put both of them out of the race, and the McLarens of Fernando Alonso and Jensen Button also collided, which put Button out of the race. In all the chaos in front, Stevens managed to pass Max Verstappen, although Verstappen quickly took the place back at Brooklands. The safety car was brought out at the end of the lap, and Alonso pitted for a new front wing, which left Stevens and Merry 14th and 15th. The race resumed at the end of lap 3. Verstappen spun off and out of the race in front of Stevens at farm, and Alonso passed Merry at Arena. Alonso then passed Stevens at Brooklands on lap 6. Stevens then gradually pulled out a 10 second advantage over Merry. Daniel Ricciardo retired on lap 22, which moved them back up to 13th and 14th. Merry first got lapped on lap 27, which was over 50% race distance, and then Stevens on lap 29. Carlos Sainz pulled over at club on lap 32, which moved Stevens and Mary up to 12th and 13th and triggered the virtual safety car. The race resumed on lap 35 and rain then began to fall. Mary ran wide at Brooklands on lap 36 as the rain started getting heavier at the north end of the track but hadn't yet reached the south end. Both drivers ran extremely long first stints and both pitted on lap 36 for intermediate tyres as they were 22 seconds apart. It proved to be a premature move as large parts of the track were still dry. Both drivers were lapped for a second time on lap 39 as they were losing 10 seconds a lap when the rain stopped. Mary adjusted better to the tyres and closed right up to Stevens. The rain soon started to fall again, this time much heavier. Mary passed Stevens at Brooklands on lap 42. He then span at club on lap 43 which allowed Stevens back through. Mary pitted for a second set of intermediates on lap 44 as he'd cooked the first set during the dry weather. Stevens then span off onto the grass and into the barriers at Luffield, which tore off his front wing. He carried on, was quickly repassed by Merry, and then lapped for a third time down the hangar straight before pitting for a new front wing and set of intermediate tyres. Merry was lapped for a third time on lap 48, and they finished the race just over a minute apart. The upgrades had clearly paid off as they enjoyed their strongest race pace so far. However, a bad strategy call created a difficult final third of the race. Despite this, 12th and 13th gave Marussia their best result of the season so far. In the week before the Hungarian Grand Prix, it was announced that Marussia's 2013 and 2014 driver Jules Bianchi had succumbed to his injuries sustained at the Japanese Grand Prix nine months prior. Tributes from around the motorsport world poured in. His funeral took place on the Tuesday before the race at Nice Cathedral. Numerous figures from the world of motorsport attended, and drivers Jean-Éric Verne, Felipe Massa, Pastor Maldonado, Adrian Sutil, Romain Grosjean and Sebastian Vessel all acted as pallbearers. Afterwards, Bianchi was laid to rest in Monaco Cemetery. Mary's Formula Renault 3.5 series campaign had come to an end two weeks earlier at the Red Bull Ring, as when he crossed the finish line at the end of race one, he slowed down suddenly and was crashed into by Nicolas Latifi. He was disqualified from race 1 and excluded from race 2. Fabio Lima was given his first go in the MR03B in FP1 at Hungary in place of Mary. The car had another minor update to the livery, with the black at the top of the rear wing being replaced with the same blue found on the side pods. Mary went fastest in qualifying, 2.4 seconds slower than Felipe Nazar in 18th and 7 tenths of a second slower than the late Bianchi's qualifying time from 2014. Stevens was half a second slower in 20th. Before the start of the race, a moving tribute was paid to Bianchi with all the drivers forming a circle around Bianchi's helmet during a minute's silence. The race start was aborted as Felipe Massa lined up in the wrong grid slot, so the drivers did a second formation lap. Mary maintained position into turn 1 and then passed both Saubers at turn 2. Romain Grosjean ran wide at turn 13 and Mary went side by side with him as they started lap 2, but he pulled away and the Salvas both repassed Mary at turn 1. Mary did a very early pit stop on lap 6 as his headrest had come loose and needed refitting, so he came out 22 seconds behind Stevens. Mary was first lapped as early as lap 12 and Stevens on lap 17. Stevens made his first pit stop on lap 26 for soft tyres. Mary did his second on lap 30 for medium tyres and came out lapped a second time. Stevens was lapped for a second time on lap 33. Nico Hülkenberg crashed out on lap 42 which triggered the virtual safety car. This became a full safety car on lap 44. Both drivers then pitted and swapped tyre compounds. They were then permitted to unlap themselves once to clear them from the leaders. The race resumed at the end of lap 48. Mary quickly passed Stevens on the faster tyres. 
Sergio Perez retired on lap 54, moving them up to 17th and 18th. Stevens inexplicably lost 24 seconds on lap 54 and was relapped for a second time. Kimi Raikkonen retired on lap 56, which gave them another place. Mary was relapped for a second time on lap 60. Carlos Sainz also retired on lap 61, which moved them up to 15th and 16th. Stevens started feeling strong vibrations from the right rear suspension and pulled into the pits to retire on lap 65. Mary finished alone in 15th, but Stevens was still classified in 16th. For the Belgian Grand Prix, Marussia brought further minor upgrades to the car with the removal of the monkey seat from the diffuser and revisions to the front wing. Stevens went fastest in qualifying, 1.5 seconds slower than Fernando Alonso in 18th, and Mary only a tenth slower in 20th. Grid penalties for Kimi Raikkonen, Max Verstappen, Jensen Button and Alonso moved Stevens to 15th and Mary to 17th. Nico Hülkenberg stalled when the cars lined up after the formation lap and failed to start the race, which triggered a second formation lap. Carlos Sainz then pulled into the pits during the second formation lap, which moved Stevens and Mary up to 13th and 15th. Mary had a poor start and was passed by Verstappen, Button and Alonso off the line. Stevens' start was better, and he passed Felipe Nazar at La Source, but was in turn squeezed in by both McLarens. Raikkonen passed Mary on the exit of Urouge. Stevens was compromised by the squeeze and passed by Verstappen, Nazar, Raikkonen and Mary through Urouge. Pastor Maldonado retired on lap 3, which moved them to 16th and 17th. They ran in formation through the first stint. Mary first pitted on lap 15 and then Stevens on lap 16. They were now 5 seconds apart and 20 seconds behind Button in 15th. Daniel Ricciardo pulled over at the bus stop chicane on lap 20 which moved Mary and Stevens up to 15th and 16th and triggered a virtual safety car. The race resumed 2 laps later. Stevens was lapped on lap 22, just past 50% race distance, and then Mary on lap 23. Mary did his second stop on lap 29 and then Stevens on lap 30. They were now 8 seconds apart. They avoided being lapped for a second time and finished 11 seconds apart in 15th and 16th, with Mary 40 seconds behind Button in 14th. Next up was the Italian Grand Prix. Stevens was fastest again in qualifying, 1.6 seconds behind Fernando Alonso in 18th, and had managed to go 7 thousandths of a second faster than Jules Bianchi's qualifying time from 2014. Mary was less than 2 tenths of a second slower in 20th. Grid penalties for Carlos Sainz, Daniel Kvyat, Daniel Ricciardo, Jensen Button and Fernando Alonso moved them up to 13th and 14th, their highest ever grid start to date. Kimi Raikkonen stalled when the lights went out and was swiftly passed by both drivers. Button and Alonso passed both drivers into Variante del Retifilo. Sainz and Merry cut the chicane and rejoined the track in front of the McLarens, while Ricciardo passed Stevens through the chicane. Ricardo then passed Mary through Curva Grande, and all drivers passed Pastor Maldonado after he received a puncture. Stevens repassed Mary at Variante della Roggia, and Caviat then passed Mary at the first Lesmo. Raikkonen repassed Mary at the Ascari Chicane, and then Verstappen did on the run to the Parabolica. Raikkonen passed Stevens through the Parabolica. Felipe Nazar pitted for repairs, Verstappen served a drive through penalty, and Maldonado pitted to retire, leaving Stevens 15th and Mary 17th at the end of lap 1. Kvyat passed Stevens at Variante del Retifilo and Romain Grosjean then pulled over to retire, leaving them 15th and 16th. Verstappen caught and passed Mary at Variante del Retifilo on lap 8 and Stevens at the Ascari Chicane on lap 9. Nazo caught and passed Mary at Variante del Retifilo on lap 10 and Stevens there on lap 13. Mary first got lapped on lap 17 and then Stevens on lap 19. Stevens made his sole pit stop on lap 26 and Mary on lap 27. They were now 7 seconds apart. Mary was lapped for a second time on lap 36 and Stevens on lap 37. Alonso retired on lap 48 which gave them both a place and Nico Rosberg then retired on lap 51 which meant they finished 13 seconds apart in 15th and 16th. A driver change came at the Singapore Grand Prix. Mary arrived at the track to find out that his seat had been taken by Marussia's former reserve driver Alexander Rossi who had re-signed for the team on a five race contract. There were seven races remaining and as Rossi was a title contender in the GP2 series, it was agreed that he would sit out the Russian and Abu Dhabi Grand Prix and have his seat taken back by Mary. Rossi had twice been entered into races for Marussia in 2014 only to have been withdrawn at the last minute and had been a reserve driver for former rivals Caterham as far back as 2012, so his debut was well overdue. The team also announced before the weekend that their planned new 2015 car's debut would be delayed until 2016. 
Rossi's weekend got off to a difficult start as he crashed midway through FP1 and brought out the safety car. Stevens then crashed as well, only two laps into FP2. There was a noticeable drop in pace relative to the rest of the grid on the narrow high downforce streets in qualifying. Stevens was fastest but was 3.7 seconds slower than Pastor Maldonado in 18th. Rossi was half a second slower on his qualifying debut. Both drivers received needless five place grid penalties for gearbox changes following their crashes on Friday. Max Verstappen stalled when the lights went out and was swiftly passed by both drivers. Stevens ran wide at turn 7 which allowed Rossi through. Verstappen got going one lap down and unlapped both drivers on lap 5. Nico Hulkenberg crashed out on lap 13 which triggered a virtual safety car. Rossi pitted first and then Stevens the following lap. This then became a full safety car. The race resumed at the end of lap 18. Carlos Sainz went into neutral at turn 21 and was immediately passed by both drivers. He passed Stevens at turn 13 on lap 19 and then Rossi at turn 1 on lap 20. Verstappen caught and passed Stevens at turn 13 on lap 24 and then Rossi at turn 1 on lap 25. Felipe Massa retired on lap 31, Lewis Hamilton on lap 33 and Fernando Alonso on lap 34 which moved Rossi and Stevens up to 15th and 16th. Stevens was first lapped on lap 34 and Rossi on lap 35. The safety car was deployed for a second time on lap 37 due to a man trespassing on the track between turns 13 and 14. Rossi pitted for a second time and then Stevens a lap later. Both drivers were permitted to unlap themselves, however Rossi missed the message as his radio was faulty, so when the race resumed at the end of lap 40, Ross was in between 2nd place Daniel Ricciardo and 3rd place Kimi Raikkonen and Stevens was in between 4th place Nico Rosberg and 5th place Valtteri Bottas. As soon as the race was back underway, they both had to let a huge train of leading cars through. Stevens had been lapped by the entire field by turn 6. Rossi narrowly avoided a collision between Pastor Maldonado and Jensen Button at turn 17 that forced Button to pit for a new front wing, but he had been lapped by everyone else by turn 5 the following lap. Button retired on lap 53 which moved them up to 14th and 15th. Stevens was lapped for a second time on lap 55 and Rossi on lap 57 and they finished 15 seconds apart. Next up was the Japanese Grand Prix, the scene of Jules Bianchi's fatal accident the previous year. Modifications had been made to the scene of the crash, the Dunlop curve, with improved drainage and an enlarged fixed crane behind the barriers. FP1 was ominously wet and neither driver set a time. FP2 started wet and gradually dried out, but both drivers only set half a dozen laps. FP3 was dry, so there was a lot of running from both drivers. Stevens went fastest in qualifying, 3 seconds slower than Felipe Nazar in 18th and almost 2 seconds slower than Bianchi's qualifying time from 2040. Rossi had yellow flags on both runs and was over 8 seconds slower than Stevens, well outside the 107% time, but he was still permitted to race. Daniel Kvyat was forced to start from the pit lane after using a new chassis following a crash in Q3, so Stevens and Rossi started 18th and 19th. Rossi had a slightly poor getaway. Felipe Massa and Daniel Ricciardo came together on the run to turn 1 and Sergio Perez was pushed into the gravel by Carlos Sainz which gave all three of them punctures and moved Stevens and Rossi up to 15th and 16th. Kvyat passed Rossi at 130R and then Stevens at the hairpin on lap 2. Massa, Perez and Ricciardo all called round to the pits at the end of lap 1 for repairs. Massa took the longest and was lapped by the entire grid. Massa unlapped both drivers on lap 6. Perez caught and passed Rossi at 1.30R on lap 7 and Stevens at the spoon curve on lap 8. Ricardo eventually caught and passed Rossi at the hairpin on lap 17 and then Stevens at the same place on lap 80. Both drivers first got lapped on lap 21, 4 seconds apart and straight after Stevens made his first pit stop. Rossi then did his the following lap. Stevens did his second stop on lap 32 and Rossi on lap 33 who had closed to within a second of his teammate. Stevens was then under investigation for speeding in the pit lane. Rossi was lapped for a second time on lap 36. Massa finally caught and passed Rossi at turn 1 on lap 37 while Rossi was letting a train of faster cars through. Stevens was then lapped for a second time as well on lap 37. Massa then passed Stevens at the spoon curve, again while Stevens was letting through the same train of faster cars as Rossi, finally leaving the two drivers as the final two in the race. Stevens was then awarded a 5 second time penalty by the stewards for speeding in the pit lane. 
On lap 42, Stevens caught the white line at 130 yards just after being lapped by Valtteri Bottas and drifted sideways across the track, creating a cloud of smoke and narrowly avoiding being hit by Rossi. As he'd flat spotted the tyres, he then pitted for a new set. He was then lapped for a third time on lap 48. Felipe Nazar retired on lap 50, which moved both drivers up a place, and they finished in 18th and 19th. A few days after the race, the team announced that they had signed a deal to run with Mercedes power units for 2016. Mary was back in the second driver's seat for the Russian Grand Prix while Rossi was fighting for the GP2 title. No cars ran in the first 30 minutes of FP1 due to a major diesel spillage on the track between turns 7 and 10 that needed clearing. The amount of water used meant everyone was forced to run intermediate tyres. Neither driver did any running in FP2 as heavy rain came. FP3 was abandoned after 35 minutes due to a crash from Carlos Sainz. Stevens and Merry qualified 18th and 19th due to Sainz not taking part, but they were still 3 seconds off of Marcus Ericsson in 17th. Merry was given a needless 10 place grid penalty for changing his power unit, but Fernando Alonso was given a 35 place grid penalty which moved them to 17th and 18th. Stevens had a strong start and attempted to pass Ericsson in the run to turn 2. Ericsson and Nico Hulkenberg crashed out at turn 2 which both drivers had to swerve to avoid, allowing Alonso to pass them. Merry cut turn 3 and got ahead of Stevens. Roman Grosjean and Max Verstappen crawled round to the pits for repairs, which moved Merry and Stevens up to 14th and 15th and brought out the safety car. The race resumed at the end of lap 3. Sainz and Grosjean passed Stevens at turn 2 and Merry through the long turn 4. Verstappen passed Stevens at turn 4 on lap 7. Nico Rosberg then retired, which moved both drivers up a place. Verstappen passed Merry at turn 2 on lap 8, leaving the two drivers 16th and 17th. Grosjean crashed out on lap 12, which brought out a second safety car. Both drivers then pitted. The race resumed at the end of lap 16. Stevens flat spotted his tyres at turn 5 and was forced to pit again, which left him 25 seconds behind Merry. Stevens was first lapped on lap 27 and Merry on lap 38. Sainz retired on lap 46 and Daniel Ricciardo on lap 48, which moved them up two more places. Stevens was lapped for a second time on lap 49 and they finished the race in 13th and 14th. Rossi was back in the car for his home race, the United States Grand Prix. To honour this, greater emphasis on the car was given to his sponsor, Alaska Coffee Roasting, and the Stars and Stripes were added to the rear wing. The remnants of Hurricane Patricia in the Gulf of Mexico brought torrential rain on Friday. Both drivers ran in FP1, however FP2 was cancelled as thunder and lightning came in. FP3 went ahead in dire conditions, but qualifying was postponed to Sunday morning. Qualifying was eventually run in wet but manageable conditions. Carlos Sainz crashed early on and was outqualified by Rossi and Stevens, who were a second behind Felipe Nazar in 17th, with Stevens only one tenth within the 107% time. Stevens was given a 20 place grid penalty for replacing the engine, turbocharger, and MGUH, but he remained in 19th as Sainz had not set a time. A grid penalty for Kimi Raikkonen moved Rossi up to 17th. The track dried before the race after Q3 was cancelled due to the rain, but everyone still started on intermediate tyres. Rossi had a poor start and was passed by Raikkonen, Stevens and Sainz off the line. Sainz went up the inside of Stevens at turn 1 and Rossi slid into Stevens left rear tyre which damaged Rossi's wing and Stevens suspension. Felipe Nasser and Fernando Alonso span at turn 1 and Roman Grosjean ran wide which briefly moved them up to 16th and 17th before Massa and Grosjean passed both of them through turn 2. Both drivers crawled round to the pits. Stevens retired, but Rossi got a new front wing and carried on in 18th, but was quickly passed by Alonso and was 1 minute and 25 seconds behind the leaders. Valtteri Bottas made a premature and ill-timed move to dry tyres on lap 2 and was caught and passed by Rossi on lap 3. Felipe Nazar pitted for a new front wing and dry tyres as well on lap 2, and then pitted for intermediates and came up behind Rossi. The virtual safety car came out on lap 5 due to the extensive debris at turn 1. Bottas then retired with a suspension failure. The race resumed on lap 8 with Rossi 18 seconds behind Alonso and 12 seconds in front of Nasa. Grosjean retired on lap 10 which moved Rossi up to 16th. Rossi first got lapped on lap 11. Nasa had closed up by this point and passed him at turn 12 on lap 12. Rossi pitted for dry tyres on lap 17 and managed to repass Nasa at turn 12 on lap 18. Massa retired on lap 24 and then Raikkonen on lap 26, which moved Rossi to 14th. 
Marcus Ericsson pulled over at turn 11 on lap 27 which then moved Rossi to 13th and brought out the safety car. Rossi took the chance to pit and was then permitted to unlap himself along with NASA. The race resumed at the end of lap 32 with Rossi and NASA still 40 seconds behind the rest of the field. NASA passed Rossi again at turn 12 on lap 34 and started pulling away. Nico Hülkenberg crashed out on lap 35 which moved Rossi back up to 13th and triggered a second virtual safety car. The race resumed on lap 39. Daniel Kvyat then crashed out on lap 42 which gave Rossi 12th and triggered another safety car. NASA pitted and came out behind Rossi. The race resumed at the end of lap 46, this time with Rossi caught up to the field. NASA passed Rossi for the final time on the start finish straight. Daniel Ricciardo pitted on lap 50 and came up behind Rossi, but then re-passed him at turn 20 on lap 52. Rossi finished in 12th, 1 minute and 15 seconds behind winner and newly crowned three-time champion Lewis Hamilton, Marussia's best result of the year. The next round saw the return of the Mexican Grand Prix after a 23-year absence. On the Friday morning, Booth and Loudon announced that after six years of leadership, they would be leaving the team at the end of the year, citing differences in leadership strategy between themselves and team owner Stephen Fitzpatrick. Hurricane Patricia reached Mexico City as well as Texas, which meant the first half an hour of FP1 was run on intermediate tyres as the drivers acclimatised to the heavily revised circuit. Jensen Button did not set his time in qualifying, which moved both drivers up a place. Rossi was fastest, 2.3 seconds behind Felipe Nazar in 17th, with Stevens two tenths behind after getting called to the Weybridge and only completing one run. Grid penalties for Fernando Alonso and Kimi Raikkonen moved them up to 16th and 17th. Alonso passed both drivers on the long run to turn one. Raikkonen and Button both passed Stevens on the run to turn four. Alonso lost power and crawled round to the pits to retire, and Sebastian Vettel developed a puncture and crawled round to the pits for new tyres, leaving Rossi 15th and Stevens 18th at the end of lap 1. Raikkonen quickly passed Rossi on the run to turn 1, and Button passed him at turn 4. Vettel caught and passed Stevens on the run to turn 1 on lap 11, and then Rossi at turn 1 itself. Stevens took 17th from Rossi at turn 1 on lap 15. Both drivers first got lapped on lap 18. Raikkonen crashed out on lap 22, which moved them both up a place. Stevens first pitted on lap 27 and Rossi on lap 28. Rossi was lapped for a second time on lap 33 and Stevens on lap 34. Vettel crashed out on lap 51 which brought out the safety car. Both drivers then pitted and were permitted to unlap themselves once. The race resumed at the end of lap 57. Stevens had had his substantial lead over Rossi destroyed. Felipe Nasa retired on lap 58 which moved them up to 15th and 16th. Rossi managed to pass Stevens at turn 1 on lap 61. Stevens was relapsed for a second time on lap 66 and Rossi on lap 67, and they finished the race 10 seconds apart. Staying in the Americas, next up was the Brazilian Grand Prix. Fernando Alonso didn't set a time in qualifying, so Rossi qualified 18th for his final race with the team, 2.7 seconds behind Jensen Bust in 17th, with Stevens a tenth slower. A grid penalty for Daniel Ricciardo moved them up to 17th and 18th. On race day, Carlos Sainz started from the pit lane which moved them up to 16th and 17th. Alonso and Ricardo both passed Stevens off the line and Rossi at the Senner S. Pastor Maldonado ran wide at the Senner S and rejoined behind Rossi. He then passed Rossi at Dushida de Largo, but Marcus Ericsson ran wide and rejoined behind Rossi himself. Sainz then pulled over on the run to Ferradura. Ericsson repassed Rossi at the Senner S on lap 2, leaving them 18th and 19th. Ricardo did a very early first stop on lap 3 and came up behind both drivers. He quickly caught and passed Stevens just before the start finish line on lap 9 and Rossi at the same place on lap 10. Rossi first pitted on lap 14 and Stevens on lap 15. Both drivers first got lapped on lap 16. They'd been running in formation up to this point, but Rossi started getting understeer in the second stint and was passed by Stevens at the Senna S on lap 32. Rossi was lapped for a second time on lap 35 and Stevens on lap 36. Stevens did his second stop on lap 40 and Rossi on lap 41. Rossi was lapped for a third time on lap 49 and Stevens on lap 51, and then a fourth time each on lap 63 and 65. They finished a quiet race 10.5 seconds apart in 18th and 19th, but Felipe Massa was disqualified post-race which moved them to 17th and 18th. The season reached its end at Abu Dhabi, the scene of Stevens' debut with Cater in the previous year. 
Mary was back in the car for a final time in place of Rossi, who was racing in the final round of the GP2 series, despite having lost the title to Stoffel van Dorn in Sochi. They once again qualified on the back row, with Stevens in 19th, 2.5 seconds behind Marcus Ericsson in 18th. Mary was over a second slower in 20th after flat spotting on his first run and getting blocked on his second. He ended up starting the race from the pit lane after the team brought the car out of Park Ferme in order to alter the suspension setup. Fernando Alonso and Pastor Maldonado collided at Turn 1 which took Maldonado out of the race. Alonso resumed just in front of Merry exiting the pit lane and then pitted for a new front wing, moving Stevens and Merry up to 17th and 18th. Valtteri Bottas pitted on lap 8 and collided with Jensen Button when exiting his pit box and so pitted on lap 9 again, coming out behind Stevens and Merry. He caught and passed Merry at Turn 11 on lap 12 and Stevens at Turn 8 on lap 14. Merry was first lapped on lap 19. Alonso eventually caught and passed him at turn 8 on lap 22 after serving a drive through penalty. Stevens was then lapped soon after as well. Stevens pitted on lap 23 and came out behind Alonso. Merry did his sole pit stop on lap 24. Merry was lapped for a second time on lap 31. Stevens pitted for a second time on lap 33 and came out lap twice as well but was still ahead of Merry. Merry was lapped for a third time on lap 48 and they finished the race far apart in 18th and 19th. 2015 was essentially a throwaway year for Marussia. They had risen from the ashes after near collapse, but they were forced to use outdated cars and outdated power units, and while every other team gained time from 2014, Marussia lost time. There was a definite improvement in pace after the introduction of the mid-season upgrades, but with their main rivals now gone, they came nowhere near challenging any other teams in qualifying all the races and ran completely on their own at the back the entire year. Nonetheless, the car proved just as reliable as the year before, with only three retirements across the year. Due to the prize money they had received for their 2014 performance, and further prize money for inheriting 10th place in the Constructors' Championship in 2015, they were now in their strongest financial position to date, and with the prospect of new management and top-tier Mercedes power units for 2016, the future looked bright for the team. Roberto Meri was in the unique position of running in Formula 1 in tandem with a feeder series. He wasn't so good over one lap as Stevens, but was closer in the races as he lost the qualifying battle against him 9-3 and more narrowly lost the race battle 5-4. His sponsorship was not enough to save him when Rossi was signed, however. Despite this, he came out on top to finish 19th in the Drivers' Championship with a best finish of 12th at the British Grand Prix. Alexander Rossi was thrown in the deep end after several aborted starts to his Formula 1 career. Like Merry, he was racing in tandem with another series. He was a driver held in high regard and resoundingly beat Stevens in the qualifying battle 4-1 and the race battle 3-1. He finished 20th in the Drivers' Championship with a best finish of 12th at the United States Grand Prix. This tied him with Merry, however Merry had a 13th place finish as his next best result to Rossi's 14th place finish. Will Stevens tended to get more out of the car than Merry, but there was little he could do against Rossi. He tended to have the worst luck of the three, as his two retirements were caused by accident damage that wasn't his fault. He raced with damage the entire Monaco Grand Prix, and never got to start the Malaysian Grand Prix. Despite being the only one to race the entire season, he finished 21st and last in the championship with the best finish of 13th at the British Grand Prix. Join me for the seventh and final part of this series where we shall look at Marussia's 2016 campaign. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe, follow me on Twitter at brook underscore F1 and I'll see you all next time.